Hello, I'm Seema from Hello Basics. I welcome you all for the next video on wave optics. In today's video, we'll discuss dependence of wavelength on the refractive index of the medium. Earlier, we have seen that dependence of speed on the refractive index of the medium and now we'll discuss dependence of wavelength. For that, we'll consider that there are two media separated by surface PQ and this surface is a plane boundary between the two media. Here I'm considering the first medium as a rarer medium and second medium as denser medium. These two media are having speed of light refractive index and wavelength as V1, N1 and lambda 1 for the first medium and V2, N2 and lambda 2 for the second medium. I can see that these rays of light are perpendicular to surface PQ or I say that are normal to surface PQ. So we can consider this as normal incidence. Here I can see wave fronts are traveling from rarer medium to denser medium. These wave fronts are proceeding towards the surface PQ. So I say that AB wave front was earlier somewhere at the place of EF. Then it has come to the place of CD and then at AB. After some time EF will approach to CD then up to AB and AB will move further. These wave fronts are traveling in the media at the time. The time required to travel that wave front from EF to CD or CD to AB is same and I consider the time as capital T. As the time required to travel is same, the distance covered by wave front to move from this position to this position or this position to this position is same and let that separation between them be lambda. As this is approaching from rarer medium to denser medium, naturally speed of light in denser medium is less than that of in the rarer medium that wave front becomes slow as compared to first medium and as it becomes slow within the same interval of time it will travel now less distance we can observe that these wave fronts in the second medium are represented by a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash f dash they are separated by the distance lambda 2 why here they are close to each other? Because they are now slower as compared to the first medium. And due to that, the separation is more in the rarer medium than that in the denser medium. We are considering that A, B, C, D, E, F are separated by distance lambda 1. What is lambda 1? Lambda 1 is the wavelength of light in the first medium. Then A dash B dash C dash D dash and E dash F dash are separated by distance lambda 2 which is the wavelength of light in the second medium. I told you that this distance lambda 1 or this distance lambda 2 distance is the distance covered in equal interval of time t. So for the first medium I can write this time is equal to lambda 1 upon v1 or the distance divided by speed. Time is equal to distance upon speed. How much is this distance is lambda 1. How much is its speed that is v1. Similarly for second medium I can write that t is equal to here how much distance is covered lambda 2. How much is speed here that is v2. So, lambda 2 upon V2. 
Now in these two equations, we can see that left hand side is same. As left hand side is same, we can equate their right hand sides and we can write lambda 1 upon v1 is equal to lambda 2 upon v2. Or same thing I can write as lambda 2 is equal to lambda 1 into v2 upon v1. But we know that v2 upon v1 is equal to n1 upon n2. So, we can write this lambda 2 as lambda 1 into n1 upon n2. Now, I got relation between refractive indices and the wavelength. What is that relation? I can say that lambda 2 upon lambda 1 is equal to n1 upon n2. In that way, also I can write it as lambda 2 upon lambda 1 is equal to n1 upon n2. Now, I want to see what about frequency? Because I know that wave is associated with wavelength as well as frequency. And we know that Speed is equal to frequency into wavelength. V is equal to nu lambda. As it is nu lambda, I can write for this that nu 1 is equal to V upon, nu is equal to V upon lambda. So, nu 1 is equal to V1 upon lambda 1. Similarly, nu 2 is equal to V2 upon lambda 2. But if lambda 1 upon v1 is equal to t and lambda 2 upon v2 is equal to t, then naturally v2 upon lambda 1 is equal to 1 by t. Similarly, v1 upon lambda 1 is equal to 1 by t. So, here v1 upon lambda 1 is equal divided by v2 upon lambda 2. I will get it as 1 upon t divided by 1 upon t that is equal to 1. And what this indicates? This indicates that frequency remains same. Frequency in the first medium and frequency in the second medium is same. Frequency is not getting change during the process of refraction or when the medium changes, frequency remains constant. What is changing? Wavelength is changing, speed is changing, but frequency is same. So, we can write hence frequency of the wave remains unchanged. And this can be proved for oblique incidence also. Now, for oblique incidence, we will see here I have an oblique incidence. For this oblique incidence also, I can see here it is more separated. Here it is close towards each other. Again, same thing I will apply for this also. And I will come back to the same conclusion that frequency of the wave remains constant or remains unchanged irrespective of the medium in which it is propagating. And due to that, we consider frequency as the basic property of the light. So, this is about dependence of wavelength on refractive index and frequency, whether it is changing from medium to medium. But we saw that frequency is not depending on medium, it remains constant. Thank you for watching. See you soon in next video.